Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, I'm Fritz Rochester of Rochester's Heating and Air, and uh, we're shooting a, if you've made it this far, you've probably uh, seen part one and two of the basics of digital multimeters. We're shooting a little series on this. Uh, part one and part two um, is geared towards the, uh, the new tradesmen and tradeswomen coming up into the HVAC industry. Um, it was just a little tiny uh, basic foundation for electricity. Um, by no means uh, is it, uh, I mean, there, there is a lot more to it, guys, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, there is a lot of great information out here on the internet. And uh, all y'all got to do is just search and find it. I, like I said, I look up PDFs all the time. And I encourage you to do as well. So, but uh, to no further ado, let's uh, get into the, uh, the basics of digital multimeters. And right now we're going to discuss the types of multimeters. All right, guys, let's get started. Types of multimeters. There are two common types of multimeters, analog and digital. Digital multimeters, DMMs, are the most common. They use a liquid crystal display, LCD technology, to give more accurate readings. The other advantages include higher input impedances, which will not load down sensitive circuits in input protection. Analog meters use a needle movement and calibrated scale to indicate values. These were popular for years, but recently their numbers have declined. Every voltmeter has an internal resistance or impedance. The input impedance of an analog meter is expressed in ohms per volt. Tech note, analog meters. The internal impedance of the meter is in parallel to the measured circuit. You want this impedance to have as little effect on the measurement as possible, so the higher the impedance, the better. For most electrical measurements, this effect is minimal, but for sensitive electronics of today, the effect of the added resistance could be significant. This is just one of the disadvantages of an analog meter. There are, however, a few useful applications for the analog meters, so they're not going away tomorrow. The digital multimeter, DMM, features a digital or liquid crystal display, LCD. Measurement readings are displayed as numerical values on the LCD display. The display also alerts you to any pertinent symbols and warnings. Tech note, digital multimeters and clamp meters use different techniques internally to measure AC voltage, DC voltage, resistance, and amperes. An advantage of a digital multimeter is their accuracy and input protection. Their input resistance or impedance is very high in the range of 1 million to 10 million ohms, so there is little effect on the measurement. On good quality meters, their inputs are also protected from faults and misuse. Test instruments today devote a good deal of architecture to overload protection. Most digital multimeters meet some safety standard such as UL 6010 or IEC International Electrotechnical Commission hey y'all thank you so much for uh, for watching I reckon this is gonna wrap up uh, part three of our series on the basics of digital multimeters I know part one part two and part three may be kinda slow but uh, I wanted to keep the videos uh, short and sweet so Basically, on part four, we're going to get more into the digital multimeter itself and uh, go over a few things. And uh, I just wanted to thank Ideal Industries again. I I'm hoping y'all are go over and uh, check them out. And uh, my good buddy on here, Ron Kipper. That's uh, Ron Kipper uh, Datacom right here on YouTube. Great guy, man. Y'all need to go check him out. I'll leave a link below. But uh, thanks so much for watching, and I reckon we'll see you in part four. Take care.